Welcome to AutoSense, the world's leading community for ADAS and autonomous vehicle technology development. We create best-in-class events, training, and information for the purpose of connecting the global community of engineers, scientists, and other automotive industry experts. We are joined today by Manuel Ott, R&D Manager for Selectrics. And Manuel, welcome to AutoSense, and thank you for being with us. Thank you, Kyle, for having me. Indeed, and we know that Selectrix already has a high knowledge of image reproduction, just in a general sense. But Manuel, where does this knowledge come from? Where did mm -hmm. you derive this from? Well, let me start from the beginning. Um, since the foundation of Selectrix, uh, we had plenty of customers in the broadcasting and professional imaging markets. And since we are committed to long-term customer relations, we do have a lot of multiple customers and projects in the broadcasting and professional imaging reproduction markets. And up to now, we are doing this for 18 years and uh, doing that in multiple sectors, such as medical or uh, automotive or industrial. And that's why we do have this high knowledge of image reproduction. Indeed. And so since we're talking about AutoSense, mm -hmm. uh, what projects that you've been a part of uh, which ones are most advantageous or most beneficial to the automotive industry? How do you transfer that knowledge over to automotive? Well, that's a very good question. Um, let me point out two, um, two projects here. One project is our frame grabber card, which was used or which is used in a lot of Hill applications, which connects GSML or FPT link cameras to our frame grabber card and there we have a very flexible uh, solution. So that is one, one project we transferred this kind of knowledge to the automotive market. And the other is our mirror replacement system participation for our customer, Mikra Lang. And uh, together with Mikra Lang, we did the, uh, we helped with the mirror replacement system for the Daimler trucks. So, and in this project, so Electrix was, was responsible for the ISP um, development in respect of the used components there. And within this project, we learned a lot about um, the, the implementation of an ISP regarding ISO 24242 uh, regarding functional safety and uh, image reproduction and uh, the, the uh, processes in the automotive industry. Manuel, before our interview, we were talking over email mm -hmm. that you have a product which allows customers to accelerate their projects with image sensors. So now that we are on camera and not over email, <laughs> can you please elaborate now, uh, what are the advantages then with uh, respect to this project that we talked about? Yes, um, you're referring to our um, product, Skype. And um, this offers a lot of multiple different things. Since I already said, like one of the um, big projects we participated in was the mirror replacement system for the Daimler trucks. We got to know that a lot of customers um, are trying to get their image reproduction project. So when I have a, a camera and the lens and uh, wanna, when I have it connected to an ECU, they want to... Um, see an image quite early in the project because when you have the, a very new system, you have a new sensor, you have a new lens, um, you want to get to know how is it working. So we introduced Xiv and this comes with in, in different things. So we have like a hardware bundle where we offer our customers a car PC in combination with our frame grabber card pro frame. And we have it also the, the hardware bundle with NVIDIA systems. Then we do have additionally to that, our software parts. And the software really is, a, is more like a, a program. We have a soft ISP SDK where our customers can get a feeling for how the sensor is working in combination with the lens and can gain experiences with this new approach they are, they are following. So 
they can do the sensor evaluation very early in the project. We have like a setup time from just a few weeks. And so very early in the project, our customer can have a feeling what, what they get. So we have an early prototyping and for later in the project, we are having a reference system. So the ISP itself is available super early in the project and they can can be used for um, as a reference for later. And uh, when you imagine that there is some object detection on those uh, sensors and lenses, then our customer can use our system as well to feed their object detection very early in the project. So um, that's a big advantage for our customers that they can uh, have like a colored image super early in the project, even though they're using a new sensor and a new lens. We're speaking with Manuel Ott, R&D Manager for Selectrix, talking about Sive. Manuel, is there anything new in addition to Sive uh, that perhaps would help your customers even further beyond what we've been talking about? Well, indeed, um, we are going to announce a new part of Sive. We are uh, we are about to release a calibration SDK, which helps our customers to calibrate their system, the image-based system. That means uh, a lot of customers have the issue they have a new lens or they have a new sensor that they do not really know how do I uh, generate a color correction matrix or how do I work when it comes to lens distortion correction or lens shading correction. And for that, we are introducing a new part to Xive, which is uh, the calibration SDK, which helps our customer to very easily um, get rid of those parts. Or they can address those parts. And for sure, we are always happy to help and we support our customers. But with the calibration SDK, our customers can do those steps by themselves. And um, this is a big relief for, for our customers. When I talk to customers who are interested in this, um, they say, finally, they can uh, do it by themselves and really try uh, the, the, the lens and, and sensor combination on their own and do not rely on, uh, on any other distributions. Talking about the benefits of Sive, you've given us a nice overview, Manuel, uh, a, a, an announcement that is, is happening right now is, as far exactly. as uh, what, what can, how, how, how that can be advantageous for your customers. What about the future with Sive? Maybe looking a little farther beyond mm -hmm. uh, what is on the horizon then for Sive, maybe longer term? Mm -hmm. Well, when it comes to longer term, since we are um, talking to customers for so many years about image reproduction, professional image uh, uh, reproductions and stuff like that. Um, we see that, especially in the automotive industry, we have a lot of uh, norms we need to fulfill. And uh, when we think ahead, like a about a year, maybe one and a half, um, we are going to extend Xive as well. We want to give our customers an IQ KPI SDK, so where they can uh, really get a feeling about what KPIs does my image quality match or, or re uh, really uh, what, what they can achieve with a with system. And um, so we are planning to to go into that direction, to, to give this to our customers. But we also have plans when it comes to, um, to neural networks, so to CNN, um, that also there are some, some uh, KPIs we want to add to our Xive, so that when later um, our customers add their own CNN to Xive, they have like a tool where they have uh, the KPIs for how to, how to get that. Or how good how good it is actually. Exciting for sure. Speaking with Manuel Ott, R and D manager for Selectrix as part of AutoSense Brussels 2023. Manuel, I want to thank you for being here today, for sharing your expertise and your thought leadership. I look forward to in, in maybe a year from now uh, getting caught up and seeing what the latest is with Sive. So we'll look forward to doing that interview in the near future and hearing the latest from you again. But in the meantime, thank you for being with us today. Thank you, Carl. And uh, whoever is interested in Xive and our new announcements will see the product on our booth at the AutoSense. Thank you. For more in-depth interviews like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow AutoSense on LinkedIn. For more information on our world-class events, visit auto-sense.com. 
That's auto-sense.com. In Detroit, on behalf of AutoSense, I'm Carl Anthony. Thank you.